Morning, morning. Trevor Bernard here. We come to look at small ruminants again. We're going to be looking at some rabbits here. So one of the things that I wanted to also point out today is this process of secotrope. Rabbits are the process where the feces, there's this special feces that comes out and they call it secotrope. There are certain animals that eat their own feces, right? Like the dogs and like guinea pig, rabbits and so forth. Cats, I think too. They eat their own feces. And so the animals that eat their own feces, it's called coprophagia. I don't know if I'm doing the pronunciation correct, but we'll put the spell in there so you can see. So the word secotropes is the, is the process of the rabbit producing the special feces that they eat back. It's also called nighttime feces. So I'm going to call it nighttime feces because it's easier for me to pronounce. Now, nighttime feces is something that most farmers never see in their life with raising rabbits because they do it at a special time. And the animals are very clean. They're always cleaning themselves, licking the paws and licking their rump and, you know, cleaning their body. So this night feces is a very, 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 very nutritious feces. It looks like grapes. It, it, it bungles up and it have a shiny look and it looks, it looks like a bunch of grapes. It, it's not like the regular pellets that rabbit produce. And this feces, sometimes they'll pass it out on the, on, on the ground and then they eat it back. Or sometimes when they are passing it out, they bend their heads behind and just eat it as it come out of their, um, of their rump. Now, one of the things that people don't even know, that the young kids, when these young kids are in the, in the nest box, she actually passes out this night feces and the young babies eat this night feces. Very nutritious, high in vitamin, high in protein, very, very nutritional for the young ones. And they eat this feces. And the advantage of this is that it helps to develop the ruminants. Their digestive system is now, it becomes more developed because the milk alone does not develop their digestive system. So when they start to munch now on forages and, and plant material, their stomach is mature enough to handle it and they don't get sick. So this process or night feces is a very important part of rabbit rearing that people should be aware of. Because one of the things is that when they eat a lot of pellet, they don't really pass a lot of this night feces. But when they are feeding on forages, this is definitely a big part of the rearing of the rabbits. They pass out a lot of this night feces and eat it back and it's very nutritional. So in a way, when I look at it from my personal experience, the cow or the goat or the sheep, they chew the cud. They have a forced stomach system and they chew the cud. And you know, chewing the cud is when they bring up back the feed, chew it, and then send it back down into their stomach. Well, in a sense, the rabbit is a similar kind of thing. The only thing, because they have a mona stomach, they eat the food, it goes inside. There's a special part inside their stomach that processes this with the high nutritional stuff. And then they pass it out back and eat it. And they also use it to feed their young ones in the nest box. And that's one of the reasons why the nest box should have, you know, some kind of material like grass or something in there to, to, to help with this process. And you should also have a, a fine mesh at the bottom of the nest box. Because when the mother go inside of the nest box and she urine, this urine must just pass straight through. Because she usually go in the nest box and urine in the nest box and also feces in the, and, and poop in the nest box. So you should have a mesh that the, the liquid can go right out. This process of night feces, secotrope, that rabbits do, which is a very important part of their diet. So one of the, the advantage of having rabbits on the ground is that when they produce this night feces, is that they have access to it. And, and as I said to you, when they are eating forages, especially a forage-based environment like this, the night feces is a very, 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 they produce a lot of this night feces. And when they produce these night feces, you know, they are able to eat it back very easily. So when you grow rabbits on the mesh, 
and this is something that you have to consider in your operation because most people rear their rabbits in intensive farm environment and they have the mesh floor and so forth and a lot of farmers are talking about rearing rabbits now with more forages and so forth in Jamaica and if you rear the rabbits with forages and secotrope is going to be a, a, a big part of it they are going to pass a lot of this and we have to consider and look at this aspect of it because it's so highly nutritious and full of vitamins, proteins and it is, you know, it has all kinds of things. This is a natural process. The rabbits naturally do this and it's a part of their existence. So we, we, we have to pay attention to this. Guinea pig as well produces the um, night feces and feed back their feces, rats and so forth. This, this female here, she's, she's, she's pregnant and they put her in here now because of the, um, the amount of rainfall that's been happening in recent times. Um, these are actually wild, they were wild, but I don't know, they have gotten very tame coming inside here now, but they'll be letting them out after she have her babies and, and, and put them back out there because they really don't want to spend the money. This is a low maintenance operation. So this is it. I was looking to see if I see it. It's very rare to see this night pieces. I was looking to see if I see it inside here, but we don't see it because usually as soon as they pass this um, psychotrope or the night feces they eat it up same time because it's really it seems to be very delicious to them they eat it very quickly so this is the rabbit pellets that they are feeding on when they are here in an intensive environment when you are going to be start feeding a lot of forages as we are now discussing increasing the amount of forage to save on money i would recommend having a foot pad or maybe a tile or something in the on the mesh floor this will facilitate the process night feces also i don't recommend using board you know, on the floor in the pen because sometimes when the board get wet and different things happen bacteria and funguses and all kind of things form on the board and it's very difficult to clean